The Australian Open is one of the iconic major events here in Melbourne and Victoria. Last year, there were 684,000 people attended the Australian Open. There was nearly 90,000 of those who are from overseas and 163,000 from interstate. So with nearly 100,000 overseas visitors, nearly 170,000 interstate visitors and 684,000 attendees, this is a massive event for Melbourne and Victoria and doesn't it promise to be an ab absolutely fantastic Grand Slam. On the men's side of the draw, we've got Rafa Nadal back fully fit. You've got uh, Murray who uh, broke through, won Wimbledon and is certainly at the peak of his performance. And Djokovic, who is the world's number one, has been world number one for over 50 weeks. So we've got the three best players. And of course, we've got our own favourite, Roger Federer, who is uh, absolute favourite of the crowds here. Currently, we're working on the Margaret Court Arena, putting a new roof, or a roof on the Margaret Court Arena that will give us a unique ability in Victoria and Australia to have three major arenas with operable roofs. And of course, the Margaret uh, Court Arena will be increasing its capacity. And uh, we will see in the 2015 Open all of this work completed, which will add again to Melbourne and Victoria and the Australian Open here as the best Grand Slam anywhere in the world. Tickets are now available and I'd urge people to get in early because these tickets will be a hot item for every day of this Open and I expect the 2014 Open to be the best ever and it's my great pleasure to officially launch the 2014 Australian Open here in Melbourne, Victoria. The Australian Open will lead the way in having the strongest playing field of any event throughout the world and this year as we did last year we welcome back Andre Agassi and breaking news, it was confirmed 10 minutes ago, Pete Sampras will make a visit back down to Australia. He won the Australian Open 20 years ago with his first title, and it's fantastic to actually have him leave home and co go to a Grand Slam. I know it's going to be the envy of the US Open, Wimbledon, and Roland Garros to get Pete down here to celebrate his success and join us for the final week. Today we're announcing another increase in prize money, up to $33 million, the entire pool, and why? Because we believe the players deserve it. We've led the way, we led the way last year and we'll continue to lead the way in making sure the players are paid fair compensation.